Hey, this is Jet at Vampire Freaks in New York City. In this clip, we're going to talk about how to be a gothic model. Now, gothic models differ from regular models in that you got to look very alternative. It helps to have piercings, tattoos, and dark makeup. And you don't necessarily have to match, like, the more traditional model requirements and that you don't have to be, like, super tall and skinny. But it's more about having an alternative look to you. And some, it also helps to kind of dress pretty cool and goth. Here we have a, a couple of outfits that would look cool being as a modeling outfit. Here's this pretty nice model corset with skull butterflies by Hell Bunny. It's pretty neat. Here on our lovely model, Sue LaRue. And as you can see, Sue also has cool colored hair with her red hair, which it helps to have cool colored hair if you're a gothic model. You like to have the crazy colored hair, such as red, blue, and purple. Here we have some other cool dress, which is uh, pretty crazy looking with the red and the checkerboard and the skulls. So it's all about really kind of looking like an individual and looking cool and crazy. There could also be modeling events in your town, such as here in New York City, we had the Catwalk Tragedy, which is a big fashion show. And you can also look into modeling for certain websites, uh, try to see which websites are local to your town, and kind of just email them and see what they say. And here, this is Jet and Sue and Vampire Freaks in New York City.